Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Rustin, the new bi uh, biopic from Netflix and uh, director George C. Wolf and writers Julian Brees and Dustin Lance Black, as it tells the story of Bayard Rustin, played by Coleman Domingo, a gay activist during the Civil Rights Movement who was there the whole entire time working with Dr. Martin Luther King and everybody else who were making these big strides in the Civil Rights Movement, but was regulated to a footnote in history because, you know, being gay. And this film, I think the biggest thing that it tries to tackle is the true complexity and meaning of the Civil Rights Movement. And there's definitely some big moments in the film that confronts that idea of how can you truly be about civil rights while being prejudiced and pushing other people down because of who they are. And that's the, the crux, the, in, the thesis of this film and the journey that Rustin goes on in this film. I'll admit, probably the weakest parts of this film are the fact that like it feels like a biopic. There's not a whole lot to it from narrative structure, from direction, that makes it feel unique or different in that way. It does feel like a historical biopic. It has some big, big dramatic moments to try to make its point that feel like you're watching a movie. But it's so well done. And I think Wolf does a great job of capturing the personality of his protagonist and the conflicting personalities of all the civil rights leaders and which with such a stacked cast. I do want to specifically appreciate Branford Marsalis who is the composer of this film and the like the jazzy music that fills every scene in this adds layers and depth to the experience. And I think Tobias A. Schleisler, who is the cinematographer, captures like a deep richness of colors in this particular film. And it's a beautiful looking film. It's really well shot. I think the production design, the costuming really works capturing this time period. One of the most impressive things though is this cast is insane. But you have to start with Coleman Domingo, who I feel like is one of the like, he's rising in the sense that more and more people are acknowledging the incredible work that he does, but he's still this under-the-radar actor who ne is yet to really get the appreciation of the fact that, like, he's an insanely talented actor, and he soars in this role and really stands out as Bayard Rustin. And I could see some awards consideration for him in what's going to be a very tough, stacked year, yet again. Um, it isn't always, but like a lot of the time, there's some big performances, and when you're going up against Killian Murphy and Leonardo DiCaprio, maybe Joaquin Phoenix, probably Paul Giamatti, maybe Bradley Cooper, there's not a whole lot of spots left, and I think he would really deserve it based off of the layered and impactful performance he gives. This film is only an hour, I think it was an hour and 35, 36 minutes without the credits. So, like, it's trying to cram in historical uh, experiences and events while also trying to balance his personal life. And there's a complexity to Rustin and him trying to balance his homosexuality, his relationships, being stuck loving men who can never be with him, and those kinds of experiences add some poignancy and emotion to this film that's more of a deeply personal one instead of a broader societal one. You have the likes of like Chris Rock, who's been who's one of the biggest antagonists in the movement to Rustin. And I think Rock does a fine job. Uh Glenn Turman, who I think who's a great character actor. I think he really does a great job here. 
Uh, Ami Amin, who plays Martin Luther King Jr., I think does a really fine job, too. And there's just like, and Jeffrey Wright pops up at times, Audra McDonald. There's just a lot of really talented supporting actors throughout this film that fill out this experience and deliver something special. And in general, sure, this is familiar. It hits the beats. It's a biopic. It's a historical biopic at that. But this character, this human being who made so much history and was relegated as a footnote in the history that he helped create finally gets the spotlight he deserves. And I think, you know, a lot of people throw out an important film to things. This is an important film because this is a story who has been pushed aside in history, and I think Rustin deserves the perspective of today and deserves that appreciation. And this film is a good film on top of that as well. But those are my thoughts on Rustin. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.